Hi, I'm Rich Bemke. Welcome to 90 Second Love. Today we are talking about three of the best ESPN 30 for 30 documentaries. So the first, clap. That time was up in my hands and not my naked legs. I'm wearing shorts today. You're just gonna have to trust me. The first one is the Marinovich Project. Really, it's the story of a, a father who tries to turn his son into the perfect quarterback from birth and the kind of crazy things he does as a parent. And this guy becomes an incredible quarterback, but eventually fizzles out in spectacular fashion. I didn't just spoil it for you, it's fascinating. The next one is You Don't Know Bo, which is about Bo Jackson. So if you were a kid in like the late 80s, early 90s, and you played Tecmo Super Bowl, you know that Bo Jackson is the fastest. Bo Jackson was just a freak athlete, and he did things that nobody had ever seen. He ran up a wall, he ran, through the crowd in a stadium. He put his own hip back into placement after it popped out. And this is a story just about his crazy upbringing and how he just became this spectacular athlete who essentially did not need to practice because he was that good. The third 30 for 30 documentary that you have to check out is The Two Escobars, which details the rise of soccer to prominence in Colombia, along with the rise of the drug trade and Pablo Escobar. And there was a soccer player named Escobar and a drug dealer named Escobar and how their lives were intertwined. And this story also takes a crazy turn, which you would not expect. An amazing story, which it seems like fiction. Check them out, links are below. Subscribe and I'll see you on Monday. Well, poof, Super Bowl. Fast, he's the fastest uh, football running person in a video game ever. Fastball, what? I'm having a rough speaking day. We have so much in common. Me and that car alarm, not me and Bo Jackson. And the third, uh, the third documentary, the third 30, 330, the third. <laughs> you could probably view them in a lot of places, but I watch Netflix. I also go to the movies and I read books. That's the end of the show.